No doubt, many people in their darkest moments have wished some sort of harm on an ex who mistreated them. But surely most of those people would feel bad upon learning that some sort of terrible misfortune had actually befallen someone they used to love. Not so with Brittany Banks. Britney is one of the newest stars in 90 Day Fiancé Galaxy as a result of her transcontinental romance with Yazan Abel Harira. Thanks to a bottle of patron and some public displays of affection, the Britney yazan relationship is already off to a horrendous start. In fact, it's the kind of relationship that might have you yelling at your screen for Brit to get out while she can, even though you know this season of The Other Way was filmed several months ago. How does a bright young woman from a loving and supportive family fall into a relationship with so much potential for abuse? Well, sadly, it happens all the time, and seeking love from abusive partners is usually a pattern that's established very early on. That's certainly the case for Brittany, who got involved with her abusive first husband when she was just 17 years old. Brittany got married on March 30th, 2015, just four days after her 22nd birthday. Some 90 Day Fiancé viewers might have cringed when they heard Britney describe her ex's deportation as a blessing, but it's important to bear in mind that in this case, the government's intervention saved a young woman from a very bad situation. My ex-husband was living in the United States his entire life. He came over from Haiti when he was 3 years old. I met him when I was 17 and we were in the same group of friends, Britney says. We hung out all the time. He seemed like a really cool guy, and one day he asked me to be his girlfriend," she continues. After about three or four years of dating, we decided that it was time for us to get married. From our date of marriage, we were only together three or four months before he was deported. As Starkism points out, Britney married her ex just one day before an immigration judge ruled that he should be deported. Obviously, that sounds like an attempt to secure his citizenship. Anyway, Brittany and her ex were hardly married for any time at all before he was kicked out of the country, which may help explain why she is not more upset about his deportation. As for why she sees it as a blessing in disguise? Well, Brittany has revealed that she was a victim of abuse, and it seems ICE agents unwittingly saved her from a future as a battered wife when they deported her husband. And as far as we can tell, Brittany's ex is still furiously angry with her for reasons that are not entirely clear. Ex bitch wanna be Instagram famous told her get that money up, he recently wrote on Instagram. What a guy. It almost seems like he blames Britney for his deportation, but if that's the case, he's even more psychotic than we thought. If anything, Brit attempted to save her ex from being deported while he did everything he could to run afoul of the law. As Starkasm reports, Britney's ex was arrested several times in 2011 and 2012 on minor charges, including driving without a license, marijuana possession, tampering with evidence and running from police. In 2014, his problems escalated when he and another man were pulled over with 35 Xanax pills and nearly 2 grand in cash. Three months later, he fled the scene of an accident and was eventually apprehended with 4.8 grams of meth, 7 molly pills, 14 grams of Xanax pieces and 1.4 grams of marijuana. He gave police a fake name and ID and in May of 2014, he pleaded guilty to 7 charges and 3 felonies. From there, it wasn't difficult for the government to make a case for deportation. Britney dodged a bullet on that one, but now that we've seen Yazan's abusive side, there's reason to believe she may have found herself in yet another dangerously unhealthy relationship. And 90D Fiancé fans are deeply concerned for her safety. Run, and run fast. Only stop when you arrive in the States. Shit is real, reads one recent comment on Britney's Instagram page. We couldn't have said it better ourselves. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.